David O'Byrne joins me live from Melbourne. He's the National Secretary of United Voice, which represents childcare workers. David O'Byrne, are you pleased to see the back of the paid parental leave scheme? Well, I think what we're pleased to see is that childcare is, is a national issue. It's been a barbecue stopper, as people have said, for a number of years. But we're very disappointed in a lack of detail. Yes, we knew the worst kept secret in Australia about the pay parental leave scheme was off the table. Uh, but there is absolutely no detail about where the money will be spent, how the money will be spent, and will it deal with affordability, access for parents, um, but also crucially uh, deal with uh, the labour force issues, and that is uh, wages, professional wages uh, for educators. Well, while there's not a lot of detail from the Prime Minister today, he has made it plain that the government is developing this families package and the emphasis will be on more funding for child care and he does say that the government has sought the advice of the Productivity Commission which as we know has conducted an extensive uh, inquiry into this issue so does that give you some hope that uh, some changes some positive changes might be coming for childcare in Australia? Well, the government has had the Productivity Commission review now for close to three months. The draft report had a number of recommendations uh, which uh, very concerned not only uh, educators but also families across the country. A watering down of ratios, a watering down of the national quality framework. So the Productivity Commission review in itself uh, does not give us uh, too much hope. Although uh, the comments from uh, Scott Morrison, uh, the minister, the new minister over the weekend, reaffirming the government's support for the national early years quality framework framework uh, is a step forward, uh, but this is a crucial issue facing the country. It's not purely about uh, workforce participation, although that's important. Uh, we know uh, that the zero to five years uh, are some of the most important years for a child. 85% uh, of brain development occurs within children within the zero to five, uh, and Australia chronically underfunds uh, early education and care. Uh, we spend 0.45% of GDP, where the OECD average is 0.6%. Uh, the OECD recommendation is 1%. So to resolve early years, to resolve the crisis in early education and care, it, it needs to deal with any package needs to deal with affordability, access and also the wages of the educators that provide the high quality care well, to thousands of families. You talk about those broad parameters and, and the Prime Minister is at pains to say that he's listening, the government is consulting. So what is the one thing that the government needs to deliver in order to convince you and your members that they have got the message when it comes to childcare. Well, at the end of the day, uh, to fund a high quality sector uh, with professional wages, it's about money. Uh, and they do need to redirect uh, the lion's share of the PPL money across to the early childhood education and care sector that will deliver for families, it will deliver for the sector, uh, and it will give the children so, the best start in life. Yeah, paid parental leave was going to be funded in part by a tax on biz big business. Do you want to see that remain in order to fund better childcare? Well, I think most people would acknowledge that uh, workforce participation is an industry issue. It's an Australian-wide economy issue. Uh, and having a levy such as that, which is already uh, essentially locked in by business, uh, would make sense. That's where the money needs to come from uh, to ensure that we get a high-quality sector. It's better, it's, it's, it's in the uh, industry's in interest uh, that that is occurring. David uh, O'Byrne from United Voice, thank you very much for joining us live from Melbourne today. Thank you.